The EW-25 Medusa is a specialized electronic warfare platform with emphasis on missile defense and ground radar attack. In addition to its suite of radar jamming and directed energy weapons, the Medusa provides significant intelligence gathering and AWACS capability that make it a powerful supporting asset during large engagements, though it can also act alone with good planning. The Medusa is built around a powerful beam laser system that makes it resistant to ranged attack from all missiles. The laser system can only target a single missile at one time, but does so with extreme precision, successfully isolating and eliminating supersonic ordnance regardless of relative speed or direction. The laser system is only effective within a 15 kilometer range in front of the aircraft. Damage increases the closer that a target gets to the Medusa, meaning that it's often more effective to wait for an approaching missile to close in. I found success eliminating clusters of three Stratolance missiles at ranges between 5 and 10 kilometers with a full capacitor charge. Capacitor power output falls off significantly when drained below 50% of its capacity, meaning that laser damage is reduced when fired for extended periods of time, to such an extent that the laser can become ineffective at all ranges when the capacitor pool is drained below 25%. Even when used at full power and within optimal range, the laser is not effective against hostile aircraft. All electronic warfare systems, including the laser, are powered by a shared capacitor. This means that using the laser drains from the same reserve which powers the offensive jamming pods and defensive jamming countermeasures. Use of one comes at the cost of the effectiveness of the others, so selection and timing are key to effective use. These weaknesses mean that pilots must choose their moment carefully to ensure that laser energy is dispensed for maximum effect. Care must be taken to avoid saturation attack by hostile launchers, since the laser system can be easily overwhelmed by large salvos or by attack from multiple directions. The Medusa's most important capability is not the laser system. It's the ability to triangulate and mark enemy radar of all kinds at all ranges. When paired with the radom array, the Medusa can see farther out than any other aircraft in the game, providing important tactical data to its crew and to allies on the map. The Medusa is a radar killer platform, and performs best when used with this singular focus. While it might not appear so, the Medusa is an effective ground attack aircraft. Its onboard missile defenses are not meant to protect others, and pilots should not go hunting for missiles fired at other aircraft when they could be hunting the launcher that fired them. The Medusa excels at killing Strato Lance, Ram 45, and Corvette naval platforms, using the optional radar jamming pods to block air defense radar and allow missile ordnance to close without opposition. This ordnance can be provided from the Medusa directly or by allies positioned nearby. While it can suppress multiple adversaries simultaneously, these opponents need to be clustered together to ensure a successful strike. The Medusa offers excellent handling for its size and shape, facilitated by its four VTOL thrusters. This system allows the aircraft to turn sharply and accelerate quickly at most speeds, and take advantage of small runway facilities or forward operating bases. This powerful ability helps compensate for the Medusa's limited payload, aiding it to resupply in the field quickly and more easily than other aircraft can manage. Pilots should take care when leveraging VTOL systems since these systems have a tendency to be overstated. The Medusa cannot hover as effectively as a helicopter and needs to fly about for a while before it becomes light enough to hover at all. The weight of fuel and of payload are factors to be considered when attempting a pure vertical landing. Conventional runway landings are more often the more reliable choice, especially with a radar dome equipped. 
the Medusa is vulnerable to thermal tracking and missile guidance systems. While the Medusa can use its laser system to destroy these missiles, their tendency for use at close range offer a much reduced response time for pilots, especially when attacking strategic facilities like airfields and command bases. Thermal tracking cannot be remotely jammed, and can be very difficult to flare off due to the Medusa's large thermal signature. Most of the Medusa's defensive systems are forward-oriented, making the aircraft vulnerable to attacks from the sides and rear. While very maneuverable, its large cross-section presents an easy target for flak, point defense cannons, and other short-range ballistic air defense. While it can accelerate quickly, the Medusa is still a subsonic aircraft, and can be intercepted by the compass or revoker. It's best to think of the Medusa as a radar sniper or suppressor, not a frontline fighter. Most of the critical functions the Medusa can perform are effective from medium to long range. Its anti-radar missiles and jamming pods can attack targets from about 30 kilometers away, keeping the Medusa far from the kinds of threats that could harm it, and forcing any would-be attackers to close across large swaths of airspace in order to secure a kill. When attacking targets, either alone or from within a wing, the Medusa should focus on ranged attack whenever possible. Reserve the onboard laser for personal defense, or for targets of opportunity that cross its field of fire. Using the laser to provide formation defense for bombers and fighters can work for short periods of time, but requires the Medusa to be close enough to the fight that it becomes vulnerable and will rapidly drain the laser capacitor to the point that the whole aircraft suffers. While the Medusa is strongest in its anti-radar role, the platform does support cruise missiles and thermal air-to-air -air capability. Cruise missiles, while slower than anti-radar missiles, provide excellent ground attack utility where massive damage is more desirable. MMR-S3 missiles provide options for medium-range air-to-air attack, but this isn't something the Medusa is made for, so these missiles should be equipped with a defensive mindset, not with the intention to go looking for a dogfight. The EW-25 Medusa looks and feels unique among aircraft in the game. It acts as a well-executed demonstration of new features and functions, that are likely to be expanded as the game develops. While the Medusa is relatively easy to fly, its mechanics are much more challenging to master than other aircraft. They will take patience and practice to understand and master. The Medusa's highly specialized skill set offers a significant benefit to teams that can leverage its power, but these teams should be careful not to overuse the Medusa since it's highly vulnerable to interceptors, thermal missile guidance, and traditional ballistic defenses. Pilots who use this platform should favor backline support and avoid other hostile aircraft of all types. While not stealth capable, the Medusa is still best when it is not seen and loudly heard.